So you're starting out with hard hat, but you don't really understand what tests are and what they're used for? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm Christian, and today on Eat the Blocks, we're going to learn about unit tests in hard hat. Since blockchain projects such as Ethereum are given domain over large sums of money, it's crucial that smart contracts work as they should. Accordingly, Hard Hat has built-in functionality with Chai that allows tests to be run on smart contracts before they're deployed. These tests run on the contract and define how the smart contract should behave when given specific inputs or under certain conditions. Here we have a sample test file for a JavaScript Hard Hat project. This is the test file from the sample lock project that Hard Hat populates new projects with. We're using Chai to run tests. Chai is a great tool for this use case. Let's dive right in and try to add another test to this sample project. So here I have a new Hard Hat project. Here's the sample lock project. Here we see the smart contract that'll be tested. And here is the JavaScript test file that defines the test this contract must pass. We see tests for deployment, withdrawals, events, and transfers. When we run the test using NPX hard hat, all these tests will run, and we should see that this contract passes all tests. And it does. Awesome. So now let's include our own test and see if the test still passes. We'll write a test making sure that the lock is no longer than two years. We'll name it should be less than two years. And we'll make sure it's an asynchronous function. And we're going to call on the load fixture deploy one year locked fixture. And this will call on the deploy one year locks fixture, give us a quasi contract to test this against. We're going to execute the expect function, which will take an assertion. And if it passes, if the assertion is true, it will pass. And if it the assertion is false, it will fail. And here we have it. We're going to make sure that that is less than two times the number of seconds in a year times a thousand, since time is measured in milliseconds in this project. And when we run the tests again, it should pass all tests as it does. Awesome. So this is unit testing in hard hat. I hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching.